Hey, this is Mr. Burroughs here with... And this is Mr. Davis. And today we're going to talk to you about Anson High School's pause in the PBIS system. To begin with, Anson High School has positive attitude, that's the P, accepts responsibility, the A, we work hard, and we have school pride. And together they make up our pause. And what that is, it's part of our PBIS system. This system is based on positive behavior and really looking to reward kids who are doing the right thing. Oftentimes with behavior systems, we focus on the negative attitude or the negative behavior. So through PBIS, we look to intervene and help students want to do the correct behavior or the right thing. And PBIS is the way we have all students follow the same set of rules throughout the entire school. Pauls we posted throughout the whole school as reminders for everyone. So we have this um, PBIS expectations matrix here, and this goes more in depth and shows you exactly what the correct behavior should be for these different um, locations. So in the classroom here, you could see this is what the P and, and Pauls would look like um, all the way down. If you're in a cafeteria, if you're a student, you know how to accept responsibility to all the way to the parking lot. If you're getting on the bus, you know that um, showing school pride means, you know, being ready for the bus and respecting the staff and people in the bus lot. If you want any more time to look more in depthly at this matrix, feel free to hit the pause button now. Um, but this also can be available to you. Um, every teacher should have it, and we have it for the district um, resources too. All right, the picture here is what a Bearcat book looks like. To be a valid Bearcat book, the teacher must have signed it in a colored pen and also must have the student's name on it. And then once students have Bearcat books and they do want to save up, um, I would say, a decent amount of them or as they earn them, um, students can then later, we'll go more in depthly, they can spend them in different places. Um, but students can earn these bear, Bearcat books by doing the different things on the matrix. So if you re reference back here, if they're um, accepting responsibility in the cafeteria and someone sees that, they should be able to reward them with a Bearcat buck. Um, basically, as students meet expectations, as they follow procedures, follow protocol, um, and then just do things maybe above and beyond, they'll be recognized and they'll receive those Bearcat bucks. All right, this slide tells you who <clears throat> all can give out Bearcat bucks, which is all staff, including external stakeholders, who are visiting the campus. They can give out Bearcat Bucks to students, but once again, they must have signed their name in a color pen to be a valid Bearcat Buck. And then once students have Bearcat Bucks, they can spend their Bearcat Bucks, just like money, in our Bearcat store, which right now is located in B1. And then there's various things they can buy, which we'll go into in a second. They also can use um, Bearcat Bucks at events on campus, and we will have a weekly raffle that they can put their Bearcat Bucks into to win various things. And these are some of the examples of some things you can use your Bucks for in B1, such as uh, coupons for restaurants, uh, Bearcat apparel, snacks, school supplies, and even dance and movie night tickets we're working for as well. So thank you for listening about our PBIS and Paul's at Anson High School. If you have more questions, feel free to seek out Mr. Kyle Davis, myself, Mr. Daniel Barrows, or anybody else on the PBIS team. Um, also, PBIS, PBIS is trying to do the things that we often overlook, which is reward the students who are doing the right thing. And hopefully by doing so, we'll get all students doing the correct behavior. All right, thank you. Have a great day.